I am Sanjeev Nair, General Manager, Shipyard, Southern Engineering Company Limited. Indeed, it's a very proud moment for us at Southern Engineering Company and for Kenya for having built these boats from scratch with the workforce from Kenya, 100%. The boats were launched on 13th, 14th and 15th of April and we are uh, now... I would like to place on, rec uh, on record our sincere gratitude to Tanzania Ports Authority who reposed faith in us after the successful delivery of two cargo barges of 78 meter long, 2000 tonne barges which we delivered last year and ordering on us these three pilot boats. Hakuna kisiwezekana hapa siku. Maana tuko na capability. We've got uh, manpower, we've got uh, machines. Uh, watu wameenda shule hapa kutosha. Uh, engine tunanunua tunaweka, kuna watu watashughulika na engine. Kila mtu atashika sehemu yake ili mradi kila kitu kitokee vile inavyotakiwa. Uh, also I would like to place on record our sincere gratitude to all the workmen, the supervisors, the engineers, the supporting departments for the dedication and the hard work they have put in to see the construction of this boat to international standards. Ajina naito wa Peter Ndambuki Nzioki. Mimi ni moja hapo ya marine technician kutoka Southern Engineering Company, Mombasa. Eh, na jivunia na furia sana kuwa tume, tumeweza kutengeneza boti hizi za Tanzania TPA pilot boats eh, rubani 1, 2 and 3 ambapo zina uwezo mkubwa tukiangalia machinery zenye tumeweza kuinstall hapa za kutoka Germany man engine eh, 808 horsepower each engine zina uwe kilowatts zo so, sina uwezo mkubwa kulingana na na, na, na vile uwe, urefu na uzito wa bot ambapo ni mara ya kwanza kwa kampuni yetu kutoka Kenya kutengeneza mashini na boti za aina hii e, upande wa ma, ma engine mimi tumehusika sana nikiwa na timu ya kutoka uh, fitting department tumeweza kuinstall hizo engines alignments bush ambazo zime import kutoka nchi za ngambo E, tukiangalia kana kwamba ni uwezo ambao tunao wa kufanya hii kazi. Tunaomba serikali yetu pia ikitupatie kazi, tudhibitishe kana kwamba tunaweza kufanya hii kazi kwa ustadi sana. Because of this uh, coronavirus, uh, we had uh, challenges in uh, getting materials on time because of uh, the lockdowns in various countries and uh, most of the items in this boat uh, are imported and that is mainly uh, because uh, the, the quality what is demanded uh, by the international standards uh, unfortunately is not available uh, locally. So all the materials are imported and all the labor force is so at the stage of uh, installing the systems and trying out the sea trials of these vessels we expect to uh, happen in, uh, around May and uh, June and deliver these three boats. Uh, the, it is for the Tanzania Ports Authority and uh, we've, we are hoping that the delivery will be on time. As of now we are on schedule. Okay, my name is uh, Tito Paulus. Uh, I'm the technical manager, uh, Southern Engineering Company. And uh, talking about the boats, these are the pilot boats for uh, Tanzania Ports Authority. And she's uh, 20 meter long and uh, 6 meter wide. And uh, she can carry uh, 12 pilots. And uh, we have, there's an accommodation for three people underneath, below, below, below the deck. Uh, we have uh, directly and in indirectly, there's almost 150 people working when it was at the peak, uh, peak time. Uh, that includes uh, 
fitters, fabricators, painters, electricians, plumbers, carpentry people, and then other subcontractors, local subcontractors. Kwa majina netu Omar Abdala, mi ni supervisor wa lifting, lifting supervisor, ambaye ndiyo ni medil na hizi vitu za hizi boti. Na nilijoin hii company mwaka wa 20 na sita 2006 ndio nilijoin hii company as a operator lakini kulingana na effort yangu na bidii yangu ninayofanya ilifikia mpaka nikawa supervisor so na experience ya kama 4 years ya supervision ya lifting nashukuru sana nashukuru kampuni kwa kunipatia morale na kunichukulia kama mtu muhimu juu ya ya lifting. Lifting supervision ina mambo mengi sana ambayo lazima ukosida. Kuna supervision hiyo alafake kuna rigging ya mzigo. Naona kuangalia zile lifting accessories ziko dead zina uwezo wa kufanya hiyo kazi. Been installing the electronic and the electrical equipments in the ship we have been putting the various uh, electrical navigational equipment so that you can be able to operate the boat from the wheelhouse so some of the equipment are like the loud hailer which you can speak with somebody from the shore at the fire detection uh, for detecting fire the navigation lights the radar the very high frequency device for detecting the frequencies which will be meeting us you are pale unato ambao umebobea tuna ujuzi sana kwa hiyo hakuna mtu ambaye amebahatisha kama vile nakwambia mimi niko na over 10 years experience sibahatishi hapo na kupatia kitu sure yeah tumefanya fire fire lines pia hydraulic pia ni pipes this field. Yaani kumaanisha kile ambacho nafanya mimi nafanya kile ambacho nakijua. Nimehusika sana hapa ndani na line za mafuta. Line za maji ambayo ni fire line, cooling system, hydraulic zote tumefanya hii timu. Yeah. Hebu tuelezee experience yako au mwaka mmoja uliopita wakati mnaunganisha hizi Ya yeah, nimekuwa na experience nyingi maana kwa hii kwa hii nini kwa hii project ilikuwa ma, kama yangu ya kwanza yani lakini sasa zile challenges zimenikuza sana. Yeah. Nimelani vitu vingi na nimelani pia kuzi overcome. Uh, Southern Engineering Company. And uh, talking about the boats these are the pilot boats for uh, Tanzania Ports Authority and she is uh, 20 meter long and uh, 6 meter wide. And uh, she can carry uh, 12 pilots, and uh, we have there's an accommodation for three people underneath, below below, below the deck. Uh, she can attain uh, 21 knots maximum speed. How long this boat From uh, design to build, this boat, uh, these three boats take uh, around uh, 16 months. Yeah, and the design is based uh, on a proven uh, Australian design, and these uh, so the performance is uh, guaranteed. Are there more? Ziako, izo ndio vitu tunangalia sana. Na kuwakikisha kila kazi nafanyika kwa njia mzuri na njia ya usalama. Tuwa kitoka hapo na rudi nyumbani salama. So kwa upande ya hizi boti za TPA, tulianzia from the beginning, ambayo ilikuwa ni kuanzia plating, na apply cranes kunyanyua hizo plate boti zenyewe zilijengwa upside down ilipofikia kipindi cha kwamba tuzitan nilikuwa mmoja wao kuchangia 